Welcome back, everyone. Hot off the heels of the overwhelming success of RuPaul's Drag Race, Canada is putting its own spin on the Emmy award-winning franchise with the first season of Canada's Drag Race premiering today on Crave. Take a look. We're looking for Canada's first drag superstar. Oh, Canada. Start your engines. This experience will change your life completely. Canada's about to bring it. I don't think y'all are ready. Here with all the TR judges, Brooklyn <laughs> Heights, Jeffrey Bowyer Chapman, and Stacey McKenzie. Welcome! Welcome! Hi. Hi, Jeff. Hi. We are so excited to meet these 12 queens who are competing, not just for the crown, but for $100,000. Stacey, what can you tell us about them? Listen, Jess, our queens are just absolutely amazing. I mean, there's so many diversity within the queens, right? And, and they're such proud Canadians, and they're very proud of their ethnicities. They are not afraid to, you know, show who they are as a person. They're not afraid to be vulnerable. They're not afraid to be, you know, just, you know, out there to show who they are as a person, as a real person. But also, they're very, very talented, and they're just on it. They're, listen, Canada, they be sleeping on Canada. Don't be sleeping on Canada. <laughs> Jeffrey, you are not just a judge. I mean, you uh, you are really a drag race scholar, a PhD. <laughs> you know every season. <laughs> you know all the queens. I wow. mean, you have the knowledge. That's what you are bringing. Uh, now, so you must know, and of course, this series has really brought drag from like niche to the mainstream. I mean, we're talking Emmy Awards. We're talking everybody knows about this show. So what impact do you think Canada's drag race is going to have on our communities in our country? I think that the importance of the show is that it's a celebration of diversity. It's a celebration of otherness. It's a celebration of the artistry of drag and to bring this extraordinary level of talent of these Canadian drag artists into the living rooms of Canadians across the nation and to living rooms internationally to see, yeah. to see not only how phenomenal each and every single one of these queens are, but to peel back the layers of otherness and for the audience to get to see their humanity. Well, I feel like we got to see that with you, Brooklyn Heights, first of all, <laughs> yes. Uh, runner up, season 11, you won nine challenges. You know how difficult this can be. You know the ups and downs, how it's a roller coaster ride. One minute you're on the top and the next minute you're on the bottom. That could, anyway, moving on. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm versatile. Um, <laughs> you are. You are so versatile. But here's the question. How easy or tough are you going to be on these queens as the judge now? That's a great question. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I'm here to give constructive criticism. I'm here to help them. I'm here to mentor them. I don't, I'm not here to make anybody feel bad about themselves. I want to help all of these queens be the best they can be, just like the judges on RuPaul's Drag Race helped me be the best I could be. So I will definitely be tough when it's it's needed for me to be tough, but I also give a lot of praise and I, I give a lot of props when it's due. I mean, it was just so exciting being there, watching these queens take all of our critiques and criticisms and just grow and become better yeah. each and every week. It was so inspiring and it just really made my heart so happy to see all of those girls up there taking in what we had to say and dealing with their own demons of self-doubt, um, what have you, and just becoming better each and every week. It was the most gratifying thing I think I've ever done. Stacy, you know a runway. You know every inch of how to own a runway. So when we're talking about a winner, we're talking about performance, uh, what are you looking for? What does it take to be the queen of the North? I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm looking for someone that is, you know, uh, very well at their craft. They're, you know, they're, they are 10 steps ahead, <laughs> right? And, you know, they're just well advanced at their craft. Um, and I'm looking for someone as well too that is not afraid to show who they are as a person as well. Because I know it worked for me um, when I was being myself, um, you know, like, you know, telling my story, right? That helped me a lot and helped my career propel it to, you know, greater heights, right? So um, I'm definitely looking for that person that, you know, that, that queen that has, you know, that, that you know, that, that uh, je, well, Brooklyn would usually say it, the je ne sais quoi. Wow, I love that. 
Jeffrey, you not only have your PhD, as Lainey said, in drag race history, but you also <laughs> were a judge on the American version of the show twice. So I'm curious to know how you think that this version, considering how polite everyone thinks Canadians are, will will compare. Ooh, there is shade to be thrown. Um, <gasps> means, you know, as 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 much as it is very much a uh, a family environment, and these queens very much are sisters. Uh, when you stick. 12 ex very talented, driven individuals into this kind of situation, there's bound to be uh, buttons that are pushed and um, shade to be thrown. So I think that Brooklyn, Stacy, and I are just as excited to see the behind the scenes interactions b between all of these queens and how they interacted with each other in the workroom because we haven't seen any of that. All that we have seen was um, when we interact with them on the main stage as judges or directing them in mini or maxi challenges. But so much of it is yet to be seen by our eyes and we're just as excited to get a glimpse of it along with the rest of the audience. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can second that because the first episode, I actually ran yeah. behind that double-sided <laughs> makeup mirror to watch a little bit. And they were, they were throwing some shade for sure. And then I was like, okay, I don't want to know anything. I want to be surprised when I watch the thoughts until I ran out. But I, I can confirm, some shade was thrown, Mama. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that, Brooklyn, because you've been really candid about what happens when the cameras aren't rolling. Yeah. Um, so what will people be surprised to learn? Just so you all know, whenever you see Stacey McKenzie doing a runway walk, just off camera to the side are two queens named Brooklyn Heights and Jeffrey Boyard Chapman going, You oh, better oh, work! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> every time, every single time you see you do a runway walk, yes! that's what's happening just off camera. And I'm just being focused. In my head, I'm like, don't laugh, don't laugh. Oh Remember? my gosh. I know, and she never laughed. We would try so hard to make her laugh because it's usually like you can look at Stacey and she'll burst out laughing. <laughs> but when she's on that runway and she's focused, there's no distracting her. This is a that was a You're very welcome. good nugget. Thank you very much. Now, Jeffrey, <laughs> RuPaul has given you or blessed you with so much advice over the years. What do you think, or at least what you think you could share with us? is the best piece of advice when it comes to judging this show? I think the best piece of advice that Rue has given me in, in regards to judging the show is just to, to be myself. We were mm -hmm. all individually chosen to come in and um, combined the three of us all have the qualities and attributes that can make up one RuPaul. So you can feel the authentic energy between myself, Brooklyn and Stacy, and Canada's squirrel friend, Tracy Melshore, who brought in her fabulous authentic energy as well. It's so nice having her on the show. She is such an industry pro, as we all know. She has been doing this for so successfully and she's just such a light and such a, such good energy and it was so nice to have her there as a squirrel friend for all the queens i, I know she really lifted them all up yeah love her. we love tracy <laughs> so as we all know this show is so visually spectacular the personalities are so compelling there are fans all around the world and celebrities themselves are big fans of the show i I watched an Instagram live interview between um, Leslie Jones and Cameron Diaz, and they just talked for an hour about Drag Race. So RuPaul yeah. has said that his dream <sighs> guest, his dream guest um, on the show was, was judged, would be Judge Judy. So I'm gonna go to each of you. Each of you, if you could, if you, could you know, wish for a, a dream celebrity guest, who would it be? Stacy, starting with you. Grace Jones. Yep, Grace Jones. I know because she's Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. but we can so, she's just so amazing. And who knows what she's going to do? Who knows what's going to come out of her mouth? Who knows what, how she's going to act? Who knows with her? But she's definitely a character. So Grace Jones for me. <laughs> Brooklyn? Celine Dion. And for the same reason, like, I love Celine because she's crazy. I have no idea what she's going to say. That would be my yeah. favorite. Jeffrey? I think I have to round it out by adding my diva so we could do maybe a, a divas live on the main stage with, this is gonna surprise y'all, 
Jan Arden. I'm Ooh. such a mega fan of Jan oh, Arden. Yeah. She's an extraordinarily talented singer, comedian. I am a mega fan of Jan Arden. I would love to have her join us on the on the main stage. How many days we, might, we have an inside track to Jan Arden. We might uh, be able to help you with that. That's gonna be a hard yeah? one. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stacy Brooklyn Jeffrey. I feel like we could talk for quite a bit longer. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for being with us today. And everyone, I will certainly be watching tonight. Season one of Canada's Drag Race premieres. Please watch. Yes, we'll be right back. <laughs>